very welcome to you. We are here with 16th of July's God Blessing. We sometimes get into the illness of waste. Waste, not something which is there in your house, but which is there in your mind and your intellect, which is also our own house. As a soul, we always are thinking about going ahead in life, progressing ahead in life and becoming successful. But at the same time, we are thinking a positive thought and at the background, we have too many doubts. What if that person again comes in? What if she doesn't want me to grow? What if he again comes in and tells me that I'm not good enough? What if that person tries to take revenge? What if this person is getting jealous? What if, what if, and we have no limit of these what ifs. We want to go ahead, but we have trains of what ifs which are pulling us backwards. Imagine that state of mind. So that's why God says that, may you finish your illness of waste with determination and become an embodiment of success. It's only determination which is going to help you out. A determined thought by talking to yourself, stop thinking like this Param, just like I talk to myself. Param, stop thinking like this, this is not important. Your aim is to be successful, but if you bring about this doubt, it's going to hamper you. Don't send those vibrations in the world. Everything is good, everyone is good, it's perfect. So then, God says, in order to become an embodiment of success, all of you children have to have this determination you will never think of anything wasteful you will not look at anything wasteful so it not thinking of anything wasteful not looking at anything wasteful whether it's your neighbors whether it's whether it's people in your organization your subordinates and you're having doubt he must be saying something about me i'm the boss i'll find out what is he saying and you're already creating that doubt if our focus is on our behavior which is good enough then we don't have to think or find out who's talking what about me right as a boss because i am focused on my behavior and that's the most important thing so when god says you will not think anything wasteful you will not look at anything wasteful even finding faults in others is a wasteful activity you will not listen to anything wasteful finding out what somebody is saying wasteful is also listening to wasteful things oh he did that to you oh he said that to you wasteful you will not speak anything wasteful and you will not do anything wasteful even speaking about others talking about what how bad it is and how some things can happen how some people are against you or how some people are taking revenge and that is also wasteful do not do anything wasteful so even talking about it is a wasteful karma taking revenge is a wasteful karma getting jealous is also wasteful you will remain constantly cautious and also finish all name and trace of anything wasteful so anytime we're going deeper into thinking or creating thoughts and change and change of thoughts of wasteful thoughts we have to stop ourselves we have to talk ourselves out of it the illness of waste is very serious and it doesn't allow you to become a yogi it doesn't allow us to connect to god all the time we have so many wasteful thoughts and they're coming in the form of pictures in front of our projector Yes, we project, right? We visualize something. So that's a projector. So we are projecting something on a daily basis. We are projecting about our neighbors. We are projecting about the difficulties. We are projecting about how somebody can become a, uh, a pain, how somebody can become a hurdle in our life, how somebody will not let us grow. And we're always thinking that. And that's what we're visualizing. But they are all going to be helping us out to progress ahead. How about that thinking? Imagine that. Then God says, with the power to pack up, the illness of waste is very serious and it doesn't allow you to become a yogi because waste is expansion. It's too much of expansion, too many thoughts, too many energies going in different directions of you, the soul. With the power to pack up, pack up means my aim is this, forget about all the things, situations and what people are trying to do. I have good wishes towards them. I'm expecting the best out of them. They're going to be very, very helpful, very, very uh, jovial they're going to be very happy with my success they're going to be very happy with my progress they're going to be very happy with my profits they're going to be very happy with my growth imagine sending out those vibrations in the world so God says with the power to pack up stabilize your intellect that wanders in expansion into its stage of essence and you will then become an easy yogi and an embodiment of success don't you want that and to learn more about this do come out to a Brahma Kumari Center and take this knowledge of what is waste, how to remove it, how to get a connection with God. I'm trying to deal with this.